This example will come back to it in a little while. Let's first go and study something that we call chaining. Okay, first of all I will write my ratios for these two conversion factors. One kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Again, we do the same as I did here. If I divide both sides of that equation, I get the ratio 1 equals 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. Or I could get just the opposite way around. If I divide by 2.2 pounds, then I get that 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds equals 1. Okay? And over here, I will get either 1 equals 16 ounces divided by 1 pound, or I can get 1 pound over 16 ounces equals 1. And then, in my conversions, I will just use this ratio here, this part here, or this part here. Now, the reason I need both of these, or both of this and this, both of those conversion factors, is because here we're going to change from kilograms to ounces. And I have one conversion factor to go from kilograms to pounds, another from pounds to ounces. Let's see how this will come about. I will multiply this, first of all, by some conversion factor that has kilograms in the denominator. Okay? It will be this one here. Then I will multiply one more time by number one. This is a special form of number one, both of those. And this time, you know, my kilograms are going to cancel. This time I'm going to cancel the pounds and the pounds. So I need to have pounds in the denominator. It's this one here. 16 ounces over one pound. And so, like I said, the kilograms cancel and the pounds cancel. And now what will be left is ounces. That's what I wanted. So I just multiply with the calculator and get my ounces. 0 0.27 times 2.2 times 16 equals, equals 9.504 ounces. Okay, and you can ask the check if does it make sense, if you have any idea how much this is, and uh, an ounce being close to 30 grams, this is about, two, this is 270 grams, so yes, it does make sense. Now let's go back to this example here, centimeters to feet, again I'm going to use two, I'm going to chain these two conversion ratios here. I'm going to change this to feet, 368 centimeters, times some kind of conversion factor where we go centimeters in the denominator. Okay? I had it here. I will change it to inches first. So I'll, I'll use this ratio here first, which has inches and centimeters. Then I'll use another conversion ratio, which will have inches and feet. This one here, so the inches are in the denominator because I want to cancel them out. Okay, and now the inches cancel out, the centimeters cancel out, the units, not the numbers. And then what I have here is 368 times 1 times 1 and then divided by this and divided by that. So 368 times 1 times 1, I don't need to do that, I just divide it by 2.54 and then I divide that by 12. Two divisions here. I get approximately 12.07. And now my units are feet. Okay. A little over 12. And that makes sense because I happen to know one foot is about 30 centimeters. One more example. Quarts and liters, quarts and ounces. First of all, I write my ratios I might use. One ratio I could use is 1 quart to this 0 0.9464 liters. And the other one is just the other way around. This on top and 1 quart on the bottom. And with the quarts and ounces, I could use 1 quart to 32 ounces or 32 ounces to 1 quart. Okay. I'm changing ounces to liters.
Now let's see also what happens if I choose the wrong ratio. Okay, I want my ounces to be in the denominator, so I'll use this one. But let's say I used that one, the wrong one. 32 ounces over 1 quart. Now what happens is that these ounces, the ounces times ounces, they don't cancel out. It becomes ounces squared, actually, ounces times ounces. That's why it doesn't work. So I'm going to raise it. And we will put one quart here over 32 ounces. And continue, because we want to get into liters, so we want to cancel out the quarts and have liters. This one here will work. Now over here, the units ounces, they cancel, and the quarts, they cancel. Then I will have 247 times 1 times that decimal number, and then divided by 32. 247 times 0.9464, and then divided by 32. Then I'm going to round it, 7.31, and it is liters. Notice how, once I get it set up, I don't have to figure out whether I multiply or divide. And, and this will tell me which, whether I will multiply or divide. And as you've seen in our example, sometimes we have to divide twice or multiply twice. Here I multiplied and then divided, okay? So the analysis tells me what to do. Lastly, we will do the opposite way around from liters to liquid ounces. So, it ends up being just the opposite way around. I have to use, instead of this, I'll have to use this one, where the liters are in the denominator. And then I want quarts in the denominator and ounces on top. Okay. Again, cancel your units, liters from here and quarts from there. Now we will have ounces as our units and the calculator again. This time it is 4.76 times and then 32 and then divided by that decimal number. One hundred and sixty point nine liquid ounces. Okay, we're all done, and I hope this was helpful.